Hello everybody, welcome back. I wanted to do a changing video today and I want to change Presley May and Mason into their 4th of July outfits for Independence Day. So for Presley May, we're going to change her into these shorts with this red, white, and blue top and this hairband to go with it. And then I'm also going to do diaper change. And then for Mason, I'm going to put him in this out, this 4th of July outfit with the American flag shorts and the 76 shirt, red, white, and blue with stripes. So I have Mason here, and you notice that his arms are actually upright. I um, purchased these things. They're called armatures. I got them at Hobby Lobby, and they're you put them inside the body, and it allows you to pose them. The reason why his arm is staying up is because this, it's posed like this. So normally, when he didn't have this in there, he wasn't as posable as he is now. And then his neck, I can actually make him look down or to the side or, you know, whatever. Um, this one, I'm actually going to put in in a Presley May sometime when I get the chance. So if you're wondering how I did that, that's my secret. It's not really a secret. And those are... I think they're like seven dollars, maybe eight with um, tax and everything in it. But yeah, it makes their arms very poseable in in positions where they won't normally stay if it, they were just on, you know, they didn't have any armature in them at all. So and he's actually showing off his new toys that he got. He's happy. He's a happy boy today. He gets to be changed into his 4th of July stuff and he gets to share his new toys with you. So I'm going to go ahead and start changing Miss Presley May. And we are going to do a diaper change on her today. So I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend and is having a wonderful week and everybody is able to celebrate and not have any harms come upon them. Um, we are going to be working, so I'm not sure if we will see any fireworks. <coughs> Excuse me, I couldn't tell if I was going to sneeze or if I was going to cough. Uh, with the heat comes a lot of dried outness in, in my um, sinuses and in my lungs and it causes coughing so excuse me for that um, oh yeah I was talking about working and I'll probably see fireworks because I, I'm the one that drives at night so I remember a lot of the times being on the road and in the truck in driving on 4th of July nights and seeing just fireworks everywhere I go. Pretty much uh, consistent, consistently through the whole night too, not even just at a, like at um, sunset. But in other states have different laws on, on fireworks. Um, like New Mexico, they, uh, you can actually purchase a lot of the ones um, that you, you, can't, you can't shoot them off here in California because they're aerial ones, but there's a lot of places in New Mexico that sells those. And I think out there, I'm not sure what the law is, but I think they're allowed to shoot them out there. I'm not positive on that. But I don't particularly like to mess with fireworks anymore. I got chased by one of those, I think they called it a rose where you light it and you throw it on the ground and it spins and it's got sparks coming out of it. Well, I did that one time when I was younger and it, I don't know why, but it 
kind of started coming towards me and I would move just a little bit and then it just kept coming and coming and coming towards me so I was like oh no this is this doesn't sound right and then I actually got burned by a, a sparkler one time so I just watch the fireworks now I don't really participate in them but it's an old pastime celebrating the 4th of July here in the States you get the go to the fireworks stands and used to be able to buy a lot of cool fireworks that you can't buy now and you know the part of the uh, nostalgia I guess you could say and, and the joy was just you know like going to the fireworks stand with your with your parents and picking out you know what um, sparklers you wanted or those little snake thingies where you it's basically like a black powder and you light one of light the end of it and you put it down on the ground it just starts expanding into like a worm and my all-time favorite was the uh, Chinese pagodas um, you light the little fireworks that go around it and it starts off like one level and then it goes into like three or four levels it just keeps popping up as the, uh, the fireworks I mean uh, the uh, the little whatever it is that's around the bottom of it as that's as that's burning the, the pagoda starts to pop up and at the end it's it's all popped up into full length and then you actually have something that you can actually keep for memorabilia I think I still have one of them in my growing up um, boxed up things in storage so if you guys like, go ahead and comment below on things that you either do now or used to do that you really like to do on 4th of July. I like to really, I like to uh, read the, uh, the comments and just reminisce on the way things used to be and the way things are now today. So feel free to leave comments on what you all used to do or do now to celebrate our Independence Day. Remember, just do it safely so where nobody gets hurt and that way everybody has a good time and you don't have to go home worried or, you know, make an unexpected trip to the emergency room because somebody wasn't really safe and did something and somebody got hurt, which I was around a lot. I had a cousin that did not follow anybody's instructions and he actually got really hurt one time with the firework and I was too young at the time to really know what happened but I just remember him in pain and then all of us pretty much rushing to his aid all the adults and parents rushing to his aid and an ambulance coming and him being wheeled off on a gurney in the ambulance and taken away so oh, it's not fun when someone gets hurt and it ruins it for everyone. So, for all you out there, just be safe this, this holiday. Arrive alive and arrive home safe. I'm going to wet her hair a little bit. I love her hair. It just, uh, there's really, it gets a little frizzy, but that's it. Other than that, it nice and short there's not a lot of it it doesn't come out it's very easy to lay down just like that and that's just water that I used and then when I lay her back her hair doesn't mess up as much as Mason's it's like you lay him down and oh the whole back of his head it just gets all matted up oh here we go come here girl Let's put your headband on hers. It just puffs up a little like that. And all you need to do is, I don't know if I can get her to sit up that well or not. She's very, very heavy. You're gonna have to, whoop, you're gonna have to relay her. Okay, she won't sit up on her own, you see. Okay, come on, girl. <laughs> say, Mommy, I don't feel like doing this. I just wanna lay back down and watch TV. The weekend. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's see if I can put this on without messing up her 
here. So there we go. There he is, Presley May with her 4th of July outfit on. And now we're going to take Mason's toys away from him, which he probably won't be too happy, but I'll give them back to you. Don't worry, buddy. I'm going to slightly move her over here. And we will bring Mason forward. And I'm actually going to try to change him sitting up so I don't have to worry about messing up the back of his hair. Now we'll stick Presley May back here. There you go, girl. And here you can hold on to Mason. Well, they're actually all your guys' toys, so we haven't gotten to play with the giraffe yet, so there you go. Just put your elephant right there. Okay, now for Mason, we don't need to change diaper. We just need to change his clothes. And it looks like I forgot, yep, I forgot to take the tag off of this, so let me take that off real quick. There we go. This outfit might look a little bit baggy on him, but it's the small size they had and I really liked it. So we're just going to go with it. Never hurts to have baggy clothes because then it's just more comfortable. Hold on, Mason. Let me get his bottoms off. He's got a big rump. Ugh. Bigger than Presley's. So you have to struggle with getting his shorts off. Oh, there we go. Once you get him past your big butt, it's not too bad. Okay. And that's onesie, so we'll do him from down here. Where are the... Oh, there's a snail. That's right, they go that way. You're going to have to sit up, buddy. I'll have to... Oh, sorry. Spread your legs a little bit more. Don't fall back. There we go. You're getting it. And one more. There we go. Yay! Nice job of sitting up, buddy. Yeah, I think I might try to start changing him. Well, and he's got the armature in him now, so he's a. Uh, he's not stiffer. He's still very, very movable, but it's a lot. It helps him sit up a lot better. So, yeah, I did his hair before the video. Got to give him another mohawk since it's the holiday. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, we'll try and attempt to put the shorts on first. Um, I'm just going to slide it this gently over one leg and support his back and oh you're leaning a little bit <laughs> this is not going to be very easy like I was hoping it would be you're probably going to see me in this video he is pretty far away from me so it makes it even more difficult to do this okay but we're getting it done, aren't we, buddy? There we go. Oh, and a special shout out to Life with Crystal. Happy Canada Day. Oh yeah, that's right. This is actually Mason's first 4th of July. He's used to Canada Day. But now he's an American. So he celebrates 4th of July. Actually, if I can get my hands on some of that Canada stuff, Canada Day clothing, I might do maybe next year. I'll make that a goal for this year to see if I can find some stuff like that and do. I don't know about all my babies because I have quite a few. That would take probably a whole weekend, but at least a couple things and change a couple of the babies into Fourth of July and Canada.